Lee and today I am back with a compilation video of five of my favorite bread machine recipes. If you have a bread machine, you need to try all five of these. They're amazing. Hey, it's Lee and today I wanted to share with you how I make delicious roasted garlic bread in the bread machine. So you're going to start off with two full heads of garlic and you're going to peel a lot of the outer um, paper off. You don't want a lot of this on there. You basically just want enough to keep the bulb intact like this. So there's not a lot of extra, whoops, there's a little bit, not a lot of extra paper on them. Then you're going to cut about a half an inch down from the top. I need a better knife. We're going to do, the, do this with both bulbs. And I have some foil. I have two pieces of foil. This is actually just the foil sheets from the Dollar Tree. And a small piece of parchment paper. So we're going to put these on the parchment paper and then drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil. Just a little. Then we're going to wrap them up. Place them in a pan. It can be a pie pan, anything you want. And we're going to put them in a 350 degree oven for about 45 to 50 minutes. Here we have it right out of the oven. It is hot, hot, hot. Um, I just want to see if it's done. It was in the oven for 40 minutes and it smells so good. Ooh, it is hot. So I'm just going to put a knife in. Oh, yep, it's done. Done, done, done. So I'm going to let this cool off so that I can touch it and then we will start making the bread. The roasted garlic is cool enough to handle now, so all you need to do is break it apart and just, whoops, can't see that. <laughs> and just squeeze it out. Whoops, here we go. Let me try again so you can actually see. So grab one of the cloves and just squeeze the garlic out. Your hands are gonna smell really nice and roasted garlicky. The nice thing about roasted garlic is, you can actually just pick up the head, I suppose, yep, is um, it's not as strong, it's really mellowed out. So you're not getting that sharp garlic flavor that you would with uh, raw garlic. Here we have the beautiful loaf right out of the bread maker. I'm going to try to get this out without burning my hands. There we go. Ooh, hot. I don't know if I mentioned before, but this is a one and a half pound loaf. It is very hot too. So I'm going to let this cool completely and I will cut it and let you see what it looks like on the inside. The bread is all cooled off and I'm going to cut into it. And here you go. It looks beautiful and it tastes delicious. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Lee's Home 5 First thing you're going to need is one and a quarter cups of milk warmed up slightly. And I've already added a tablespoon of butter to this so it can be softened. Actually, I think it just melted. And then one quarter teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of salt. Throw those in. Two tablespoons of sugar. Three cups of bread flour. Let's see if I can do this without making a gigantic mess. Then you need 
One package or two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. I'm using bread machine yeast. I don't know if it, I guess it just makes it rise faster. A cup and a half of sharp, cheddar, sharp shredded cheddar cheese. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's one cup. And a half. And then one third of a cup of shredded parm. Majan. So I'm gonna stick this in the bread machine on white setting, one and a half pound loaf and light color. One thing I forgot to mention is to make sure that your cheeses are room temperature. Okay, so the bread machine just finished and I took the loaf out. I have it cooling on a rack and I'm going to let it cool for a little while and then cut it open and show you what it looks like inside. So here's the finished product. I let it cool for quite some time. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. Today I'm going to be making cinnamon raisin bread in my bread machine. You're going to need four cups of flour. And I went ahead and put the two teaspoons of cinnamon in with the flour. Two teaspoons of yeast. I have just um, bread machine yeast there. Two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of butter that I I wanted to soften it and it kind of melted a little, but it'll be all right. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, and about a cup of raisins. I have half golden raisins down in there. You can't really see them; just there they are, and half regular raisins, just because that's what I have. Um, and a half a cup of, of one and a half cups of milk that I've just taken the chill off um, by throwing it in the microwave for a little bit. It's not hot, but it's warm. Then I'm going to add the two teaspoons of yeast in there, the two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of butter. <laughs> there we go. The cinnamon. Oh, that was cinnamon. This is totally vanilla, not cinnamon. That's going in. Whoops, sorry. Then I'm going to add the flour and cinnamon and try not to make a gigantic mess. Okay. And then the salt. And Okay, you have an option here with the raisins. You can add them now, which I'm going to do, because um, if you add them in the beginning, they get really um, sort of torn up, you know, into tiny little pieces, which I like. But you can also just wait until the sweet, if your machine has a sweet cycle, it'll beep, and you can put them in then. But I just like to do it at the beginning, because I like them more, I mean, like in smaller pieces. So this is all you do, and then you stick it in your machine, and put it on the sweet dough cycle. So I have it in my machine. I'm gonna select sweet, which is number five. Five. And I like the color light. And this is a two, whoops, sorry. It's a two pound loaf, so I'm gonna start it up. And we, I'll be back when it's done in about three hours. Okay, so it's in the bread machine and it's just getting ready to bake it. And I like to mix up a little bit of cinnamon and brown sugar. Let's see if I can do this. Sprinkle it on the top before it bakes. Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing here. Before it bakes. And you'll have this nice crunchy topping. Okay, so here's the cinnamon raisin bread. I took it out of the bread maker and I let it cool for a little while. And um, don't be like me and accidentally uh, stick your finger down the middle of the loaf. It doesn't look so pretty. But um, as you can see, let me lift this up some. It has a nice sugary, cinnamony, sugary, crunchy topping. And enjoy. Oh, also I wanted to tell you that, I don't know if you can see this, the way I put the raisins in at the beginning, See how they're just all kind of mashed up into tiny little pieces? I'm not sure how well you can see it, but 
Um, I prefer it that way. Today I'm going to be making a rapid rise white bread in the bread machine. This recipe takes about an hour from start to finish and the bread turns out really good. So start with one and a half cups of warm water, three tablespoons of olive oil, Oops, pouring a little too fast there. Three tablespoons of olive oil, three tablespoons of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt, a tablespoon of dry milk. Um, the recipe works out fine if you don't have the dry milk. I've made it that way. You can just substitute milk for the water. Four cups of bread flour. I'm going to use my spoon here so I don't make a mess. And two tablespoons of instant yeast or bread, mach bread machine yeast. So here it is after it comes out of the bread machine when it's all done and it really uh, rose more than usual so I don't know what's up with that but I'm sure it'll be delicious. I'm going to cut it open and let you see what it looks like on the inside. Um, I messed it up a little while I was cutting. Right there you can see. Um, should have let it cool just a little longer. I only gave it 15 minutes and it probably needed about 20 or so. But anyway. As you can see, that comes out really nice. It's really delicious. Today I'm back with a bread machine recipe. This one is for Parmesan bread. So we're going to start off with one cup of kind of warm water, you know, not too warm. You don't you want to be able to stick your finger in it um, and just feel like not cold, I guess. Then one egg kind of room temperature, which I have scrambled to make mixing a little easier. A quarter of a cup of butter. You can use margarine. Just cut up into small pieces. I apologize for the lighting. It's a really dreary day here. I think it's supposed to rain. Then three cups of bread flour, which I have already measured out. And I'll see if I can do this without making a ginormous mess. Probably not because I always make a ginormous mess. Okay. So I'm gonna spread it around a little to put the rest of the ingredients in. Next we're gonna go with a half a cup of, it says shredded Parmesan, um, but I only have the grated so I can't imagine why it wouldn't be delicious. Then you need two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of sugar, and in here we have two teaspoons of dried onion flakes, um, which is called dried minced onion, one teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to stick these over to the side a little bit. Then you just need one package of yeast, or as I have here, two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. I'm going to put that in. And then I'm going to pop this in the bread machine on the white dough cycle. It takes about three hours. I also wanted to point out that I picked the light crust and the one and a half pound loaf option. Okay, it's out of the oven, out of the bread maker anyway. Looks a little weird, <laughs> it sort of collapsed on top. I'm gonna let it cool, it just came out, it's really hot. I'm gonna let it cool and we're gonna cut it and see how it tastes. Here is the finished product. It actually looks good. There we go, and I just wanted to give it a taste quickly. Sorry, my camera's so shaky. It is really good. 
I'm getting not that much Parmesan, mostly the onion and garlic flavors, but a little Parmesan. I think next time I might put a little more in, but it's tasty. So there are all five recipes. Let me know which one of them is your favorite and which one you're going to try first. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified every time I upload new videos. You can also find me over on Instagram and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.